Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can add exceptions inside of Windows Defender. Now what this basically means is say you just downloaded a new piece of software or some sort of file that you know for sure is safe and you've then gone on to open it but Windows Defender is blocking you from opening it as it's falsely detecting it's a threat. Now this can be a real issue and quite annoying so I'm going to show you how we can bypass certain apps inside of Windows Defender so that it no longer detects them as a threat. So to start with, you just want to click the Windows button, and from here, we're just going to type in Windows Defender. Now this will open this page here, once we've typed that in, and we just want to click this, Virus and Threat Protection. Now once we've opened that, it will look something like this, and from here, we can just look for Virus and Threat Protection Settings, which we can find here. And we just want to select Manage Settings. Now from here, we just want to scroll down to the very bottom until we see Exclusions. Now, as you can see, what it says here is Microsoft Defender Antivirus won't scan items that you've excluded. So what that basically means is we can click here to add or remove exclusions. It will ask if we're sure we want to allow this app to make changes. We just click yes. And then what we can do from here is click add an exclusion. Now, what this allows us to do is select a, select a file, folder, file type or a process and add it into an exclusion. So as you can see, I've had to do this before. I have an animated wallpaper set up and for some reason Windows Defender was thinking it was a virus and it was blocking it. So what I did is uh, I made an exclusion and I basically excluded this program from Microsoft Defender and it no longer detected it as a virus. It let me set it up successfully. But I will warn you, make sure you do this with things that you abs absolutely are certain are not viruses as if you exclude a virus and then end up then end up opening it and installing it onto your device, Windows Defender will no longer be able to help you as it will be too late. So make sure if you are doing an exclusion, make sure it is definitely safe. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please comment down below to say that it helped you out and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.